What's up, everybody? Today we're gonna try and recreate Gordon Ramsay's slow roasted pork belly. So, here's what we got. We got the pork belly, of course. We got some shallots, some garlic, fennel, white wine, some salt, some pepper, and our spices. We got fennel seeds, star anise, and whole cardamom seeds. All right, so next I'm gonna throw everything in a roasting tray. And if you don't have one, I recommend getting one before you do this because it makes everything easier. A regular baking pan is a little shallow. Roasting trays are a little bit bigger, so they can hold more stuff in them. I got mine right here. I'm not gonna lie, I literally bought this today, but oh well. We're gonna get that nice and hot. And then we're gonna Veggies in. Take three cloves of garlic and we're gonna smash them with the, either a hand or your knife, whatever is more useful. Now our veggies are in, they're starting to caramelize. I'm gonna throw in some spices. Take a handful of fennel seeds. Right. Star anise. And cardamom. We're gonna smash that, throw that in. Now we're gonna throw the pork belly in, fat side down. So we're gonna get it nice and seedy. Put some weight on it. Get all that fat nice and seared on it, baby. Here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like right now. Want to make sure that skin gets nice and crispy before we turn it over. Let that keep going so it's nice and golden brown. Flip. Things already starting to look nice. A little more fennel seeds on top. Put those in the cracks. And then we're gonna throw in some freshly ground pepper. Be generous with it. We're gonna throw in some white wine. I'm just using a Pinot Grigio, nothing fancy. Three dollar wine. I'm gonna let that wine reduce all the way down. And don't pour the wine directly on the pork belly, you just want it around the sides. Our wine's reduced, now we're gonna throw in some chicken stock. So we're just gonna go all the way around. So 
don't want to leave the skin exposed. Make sure you bring that back up to temp. We're going to bring that to a boil. Because if you don't, it'll just, it won't ever come up to the temperature in the oven. So we're going to let that come up to a boil. Then we're going to throw it in the oven. I throw it's boiling now. See that liquid is just barely up to the layer of the fat. That's going to, that's going to let the braise and the fat's going to get really, really crispy in the oven. Put it in the oven now. in the oven um, we're gonna let it roast for two hours and in the meantime I'm gonna prepare a little side to go with the pork belly for the sides I got a celery root parsnip puree working and some saute the rest of the fennel with some glazed carrot all right I just pulled this out of the oven this is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful golden brown. Nice succulent meat underneath. Ooh. Careful. It's fucking hot. Already all hot. So I got the pork wrapping right here. You can see that it's completely just crispy as anything on the top. And then the meat underneath is just pull apart tender. It's so beautiful. Just letting that rest for a few minutes. And then over here, I have the sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit to this to make a little rustic sauce to go with it. I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard, Grey Poupon, you know? And then uh, I'm gonna strain it to get all the big chunkies out and then it's gonna be finished. And then we're gonna plate it. All right, y'all. Time to see the main event. So we got the pork belly right here. It's rested nice and, nice and cooled down. A little bit for me. Okay. You want to use a serrated knife because cutting through the skin is going to be a little tricky. A serrated knife has its teeth. It's going to be able to dig into it a little better. So let's go ahead and start off going. You hear that? Ooh. Don't worry, it's still very hot. <clears throat> flavor. I'm just putting that in the center of the puree. Next, I'm taking my sauteed fennel stock and glazed carrots and I'm just gonna put them around, kind of dance them along the sides. Try to get as many colors as I possibly can. That orange, that purple, you know, 
want it to be vibrant and colorful. Because there's not a lot of color on this plate. So I'm trying to get all the vibrant colors around the edges so it pops. Next, the pork belly, right in the center. I'm going with a big piece on the bottom, and then a little, little small piece just kind of sitting on top. It's gonna kind of translate that. That looks good, okay? And then I'm gonna sauce around the sides. This is how the this is how the sauce came out. Nice silky sauce. Okay. Just gonna take a couple spoonfuls. I'm just gonna pour it around the sides. Just enough carry. This is how the finished product looks.